Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm working on a get well card for my mom. She just had ear surgery, so I thought it'd be nice to send something in the mail to cheer her up. And with this card, I am um, going to be making it at five and a half by four. So when you start out, the card's going to be eight inches by five and a half. I went ahead and scored that. And then I also took this pattern paper from the Prima Breathe collection, which right now is at Big Lots for $5 for the entire paper stack. So you should check that out if you're interested. This is measured at five and a quarter by three and three quarters. And this is just a um, kind of dark mauvey purple cardstock and I actually embossed this with my my um, Sizzix Eyelet embossing plate and what I wanted to do is just to kind of um, get an idea of what I want to make I know that for this card I want it to be really elegant and pretty I just want it to be something that she can look at over and over again what I'm thinking of doing is, is doing something with these Recollections uh, Paper Roses and maybe even incorporating all three colors. And then I do want to add a petal of this SEI Metal Accents by the um, Claire Collection. I've also been thinking about adding some lace. Not quite sure which one yet. I was thinking about this thin strip here. I've been thinking about adding some bling and also some of these mosaic tiles that I purchased. I also want to incorporate some type of ribbon. I have kind of a maroon color, a brown tassel, and then a chocolate um, kind of wavy scallop. So we'll see what I come up with. I'm just going to kind of play around here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is mount this to the base. Actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and distress everything with the walnut stain. I think I decided to do it kind of sporadically and I'm going to get another one of the light gray cut that off there it goes yeah I think that that's gonna look really nice okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and just glue those down with my handy dandy glue gun. And I'll take care of the little driblets of hot glue gun in just a second. Okay. That's the one thing I don't like about the glue gun is you get all these little strings all over the place. Looks like a spider went to town on your card. <laughs> Okay, 
And now I think what I might do, goodness, it's still all everywhere, is I'm thinking about adding some of these to the bottom of the card. And these were from Caitlin. She's at KNC71996. Thank you, Caitlin. And I'm just going to add these kind of here and there. for watching and I also wanted to show you I had made a card for my grandpa and I made this kind of fun envelope and it's for this size card and what I did is I used just a piece of cardstock to make the envelope and then I punched out a half circle so that it's easy to open this up and I left it so that I can kind of show you how I created this so if you're interested in that stay tuned the first thing you're going to do is take your 8.5 by 11 um, sheet of paper, and I'm using cardstock. This is a cream color. And I'm just going to be scoring at an inch on each length side. And I'm also going to be scoring at four inches. And then also at three inches. this anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to fold over our score line using our bone folder to straighten those out. Do the same with the other side. Then we're going to also fold it upwards. Make sure you flatten out all of your scores. I'll give us that nice tight look. And you're also going to fold that other score over. And as you can tell with this envelope, it's a little bit more um, 
compact than the other one. Let's make sure that our card still fits in there. So, practice round here. Yep, that should should work. It is kind of a thick card, but it works perfectly. So let's go ahead and glue this down. The first thing you're going to want to do is glue down this bottom edge here on each side. You're also going to want to glue that to this middle piece here. Oops. Oh, I'm out of tape. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So you're going to go ahead and glue that to the middle part on each side. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to find kind of the middle area here. You're going to take your... Um, this is a one inch circle punch, but you can take any circle punch. And you're just going to want to take about half of that circle out. So you're left with this little insert here. Let me get the card so I can show you what that's going to look like. I'll use the same card as the other envelope for my grandpa. So see, when you open that up, you're actually seeing the card. They can easily pull that out. And then for closure, you can either cut off the excess if you don't want it to be thick like that. You could even do like a little cut inward. Something I like to do is to just cut that off so it's a thinner envelope look. And here is our rose card that we just made for mom. And I'm just going to stick that in. And like I said before, it is really bulky. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier to send. <laughs> But there is our envelope. I'll take that out again so you can kind of see. Really simple, smooth lines. And when you open it up, you have that nice little slit there so you can pull it out easily. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.